Frustration and anger tonight in a three-year KMBC 9 investigation. People across Kansas are still emailing our investigative team saying they're owed thousands of dollars by the state. It's money that was supposed to help, especially during the pandemic. KMBC 9 investigative reporter Matt Fleener has been doing the legwork to give people the help they deserve. Matt. Please. Chris Lahr, we first started this journey when the Kansas unemployment system got overloaded with demand in the spring and summer of 2020. We talked to people who got scammed. They had their identity stolen and had fraud claims put on their account. Nearly three years later, people are still having trouble, so we're not done trying to get people help. Welcome to the Kansas Unemployment Contact Center. Kia Hessian has memorized the numbers. For claimant inquiries, press 1. She's called the Kansas Labor Department hundreds of times over the past year and a half. This call will be disconnected. This call will be disconnected. Tracy Faber knows, too, the struggle to get through. She couldn't log in online for unemployment benefits after losing her job more than a month ago. I just try to keep being persistent. Faber and Hessian are the latest to call KBC not investigates for help with their unemployment benefits. It's been three weeks and I have got no contact from them. Three years after we started reporting on the issues at KDAL, both Faber and Hessian said they still could not get through to the Labor Department. This is still an issue. Maybe by getting someone to call me, contact me about the situation. The Kansas Department of Labor is in the middle of updating its current computer system built in the same decade when the Atari video game debuted in the 1970s. So we are between months six and seven. The Kansas Labor Secretary told legislators last month the nearly $44 million process to modernize KDAL's unemployment system is underway. We are working to make sure that this experience will never happen again. Amber Schultz says right now 25 department workers are answering calls, saying the department is seeing a bump in calls as tax returns come back and seasonal layoffs happen. It seems like we're having more and more people calling us and saying, hey, making phone calls, we can't get through. Republican House Majority Leader Chris Croft has noticed a recent uptick in calls too. And it's just frustrating that we're going through this again. And there are some wait times that I think are probably not appropriate. Democrat Mary Lynn Poskin has noticed more calls recently as well, saying if anyone is still having problems, state legislators can help, saying a dedicated team at the Labor Department working with legislators works to call people back soon. We're here, we're busy, but we care. Um, that's. I think my best advice. What's your best advice for, for people to get help from the Kansas Department of Labor? Sure, I hear you. I understand the frustration. We are working on moving more and more staff every day to the phones um, to be able to better assist you. You're doing more than what I can do. Faber, after calling KBC, did get a call back. I mean, it's pretty frustrating. Hessian's case, meanwhile, may take longer to resolve due to much more paperwork. But both say if you still believe your old money from the Labor Department, to not give up. All right, so there is credit due to the Labor Department who had to deal with so much over the past few years. Still, we're raising these issues to call attention to get help for people, especially with the wait times. So if you need help, we'd love to look into your case. Email us at investigates at KNBC.com, Chris.